Hi everybody. Today we'll try to learn about a very simple thing when we start doing obstetric ultrasounds. A lot of my younger colleagues have asked me how can we determine the side of the fetus in its various positions within the uterus. So to answer this first we need to understand how many positions the fetus can take. So the various positions the fetus can take are in breech it can take four positions in cephalic it can take four positions. So we determine the positions based on the direction in which the fetal spine is pointing to. So when the fetus is in breech that is when the buttock is down and the head is above the spine of the fetus can be posterior, anterior to the right of the mother, to the left of the mother. When the fetus is in cephalic presentation, that is when the head is down and buttock is above, the spine of the fetus can be posterior, anterior, to the right of the mother and to the left of the mother. So in all these positions, let us try to understand how do we determine the right sidedness and the left sidedness of the fetus, which is the fundamental first step in imaging of a fetus. Now for example in a breech presentation that is when the buttock is below and when the head is above in the uterus we can have the spine posterior, the spine anterior, the spine to the right of the mother and the spine to the left of the mother. So the fetus can lie in these four positions and we need to determine which is the left of the fetus, which is the left of the fetus, which is the left of the fetus in all these positions. So first we will try to see uh, the each one of these. So the first position I am going to do is the breech presentation when the fetal spine is posterior. Okay. So now we will see a model. We will, I will be showing you the model of the uterus. Now this is the uterus. The mother is lying supine like how we do an ultrasound. So the cranial end of the mother is here. The caudal end of the mother is here. That is the uterus upper end is here. Lower end is here. The mother's left is this side and the mother's right is this side. So the uterine left is this side. Uterine right is this side. Okay, so now when we do an axial scan, the image of the uterus will come on the screen. Okay, so whatever is to the left of the image will come to the left of the screen. Now if this is our ultrasound monitor, this is the left of this monitor, this is the right of the monitor. So when we do an axial scan, whatever is in the left of the scan, or the uh, object will be on the left of the screen. Whatever is in the right side will be on the right of the screen. So I am going to take the first example. Now this is a fetal small clay doll and now we are going to keep the fetus like this. So the head of the fetus is above, the buttock of the fetus is below. So this is in a breech presentation. Now our first example is breech spine posterior. So now the posterior part of the spine or the spine is actually posterior when the fetus is supine. Now this is the left of the fetus, this is the right of the fetus. So in breech presentation when the fetus, fetal spine is posterior, the left of the fetus corresponds to left of the uterus and hence the left of the fetus will be on the left side of the screen. So in a breech presentation when the spine is posterior the left of the fetus will be on the left of the screen. So in an abdominal image the left of the, the left of the body is this and in a thoracic image the left of the body is this side. Now you can see stomach is on the left side heart is pointing to the left side. Now next I take another position. Now this is breech and the spine is anterior. So here what we are going to do, we are going to rotate the 
fetus. So now the fetus is still in breech presentation and the spine is anterior. So what has happened? The left side of the fetus has come to the right side of the mother. The right side of the fetus has come to the left side of the mother. So we learned that the left side of the mother will actually be on the left side of the screen. The right side of the mother will be on the right side of the uh, screen. So now in an axial section, since we learned that the left side of the fetus will be on the right side of the mother, which is the right side of the screen. So the left side of the fetus is on the right side of the screen. So in an axial section, this is the left side of the abdomen. This is the left side of the thorax. You can see that the stomach is on the left side and the heart points to the left side. So in a breech presentation, when the spine is anterior, the left side of the fetus will be on the right side of the screen. Now I am going to take the next example. Now we maintain the breech presentation. The spine is to the mother's right. So I am going to turn the fetus like this. Okay. So it is still in breech presentation. The spine of the fetus is on the mother's right. So what has happened here? The sh right shoulder has come anterior. The left shoulder has gone posterior. Okay. So you can see here, this is the anterior part, which will be the right side. This will be the posterior part, which will be the left side. So you can see the stomach is on the left side, which is the posterior part. The apex, is point, apex of the heart is pointing to the left side, which is the posterior part. Now we are going to the next position. Now we are maintaining the breech presentation and the spine is to the left side. So I am going to turn the model to its side. So it is in breech presentation. The spine is to the left of the mother. So if you see what has happened, the left shoulder of the fetus is pointing anteriorly. So in the image, whatever is anterior is left and you can see that the stomach is on the anterior part which is left the apex is pointing left side which is the anterior part so we have finished the four positions in breech presentation now i am going to make the fetus cephalic so i am going to turn the model to cephalic position and where is the spine the spine is posterior so now the fetus is in cephalic presentation with spine posterior so the left of the fetus is on the right of the mother the right of the fetus is on the left of the mother so the left of the fetus which is on the right of the mother will fall on the right of the screen so in an axial image you can see whatever is on the right of the screen is the left side of the fetus and you can see stomach is on the left side apex points to the left side now we take the next example it's cephalic presentation, spine anterior of the mother. So now I'm going to rotate the fetus. So we have maintained the cephalic presentation. Spine has come anterior. So what has happened into the fetus? The left of the fetus is on the left of the mother. The right of the fetus is on the right of the mother. So the left of the fetus will be on the left of the screen. So you can see that this is the left side of the fetus, stomach is on the left side and apex is pointing to the left side. Okay. Now we go to the next position. Now maintaining the cephalic presentation, the spine is to the right. So I am going to rotate the fetus like this. So it is in cephalic presentation and the spine is to the right of the mother. So what has happened? the left shoulder is pointing anteriorly. So whatever is pointing anterior will be the left of the fetus. So on the left you can see the stomach, on the left you can see the apex of the heart. Now the next position is cephalic presentation and spine to the left of the mother. So I am going to turn the fetus like this. So it is maintaining the cephalic presentation 
and the left of the fetus is to the left of the mother. Okay. So in this what has happened? The right shoulder of the fetus is pointing anterior. So whatever is anterior will be the right and whatever is anterior will be the right and you can see that the stomach is posterior to the left and apex points posterior to the left. So like this we can try to understand in various positions what happens to the fetal side. So the best way is to actually have a small doll like this in your scanning room and once you do the scan and you find where the head is, where the buttock is. So if it is in breech presentation, you take the doll and place it by the side of the mother. And then if the spine is posterior, you place it like this. If the spine is anterior, you place it like this. If the spine is to the right side, you place like this. If the spine is to the left, you place like this. So when you do these maneuvers by the side of the mother using a doll, you will actually know where the left side of the fetus is, whether to the right of the mother, left of the mother, anterior part of the mother or posterior part of the mother and you have to just interpolate it on the screen. Initially you can use a small doll to do this. Within one or two days you will understand to imagine the doll's position in the uh, uh, fetal uh, position. Now if you have understood this and if you find it still a little difficult, I will tell a small uh, uh, rule of uh, thumb which has been described by uh, some other authors. Now we actually what we do is you use your right hand. Now this is my right hand. Okay. Now in my right hand I have flexed my fingers and I have extended my thumb. Okay. So now the flexed fingers which become my knuckles will be the face of the fetus. And the dorsum of my palm will be spine of the fetus. Okay. And now the distal part of my hand is the head of the fetus. And the proximal part of my hand which is the wrist is the buttock of the fetus. So this is face, this is head, this is buttock, this is spine. Okay. So now in breech presentation, in this breech presentation spine posterior, I am going to keep my hand like this. Because the spine is posterior, head is above, buttock is below. So now the thumb will always point to the left of the fetus. Right? So that is how we can see. So in this position, the left of the fetus points to left of the mother and the left of the screen. Now, when I turn it into dorso anterior, automatically I am going to turn my hand like this. Because the head is above, buttock is below and the spine is facing up anterior. Where is my thumb pointing? The thumb is pointing to the right. So that means the left of the fetus points to the right of the mother and to the right of the screen. Similarly in breech present, in cephalic presentation, now I am going to rotate my hand. Actually the uh, hand maneuver will be difficult but you will have to actually rotate your hand and the hand will actually point, the thumb will point to the left side and when you make the head prone, you will have to actually rotate the hand in the opposite direction and the thumb will point actually to the left of the fetus. So in this way, we can actually easily try to imagine how the fetus is lying and then interpolate the size of the side of the fetus to the side of the screen. I have tried to do uh, a lot of uh, such teachings in a series called the Refer series. Refer series is radiology education for enhancement of radiologists. It is done with the help of a company called Medinit and I have released a course called Masterclass in Fetal Echocardiography under Refer series with the help of Medinit. So, you can actually access the course by using or logging into www.medinit.org.courses and you can take these courses. Thank you.